Hello dear friends and followers. Today we have the Orchitorch H01 camera tray for review with us. We have pre-assembled the base plate which you can see. We have pre-assembled also the top plate and we have pre-assembled the two handles. As you can see it is a very sturdy package and it looks very good in terms of design. The only issue I can see right away here is if you have a bigger camera, especially those DSLR freaks, the camera is not going to fit in between these two plates and you just need to remove the, the top plate. But this is very easily done just by unscrewing these two top ball joints which unscrew like this and your ratio is taken care of and you can screw them back on. Another thing you can do with this top plate is you can also use it instead of the, the base plate you can exchange the two and like this you have a lower profile tray also for your camera as the base plate the original one is quite big in terms of dimensions now a small tip from me right away is they all have the same threads here on the on the tray itself and what happens if you're using the handles alone if you if you if you, if you move them a little bit around like this and you jiggle them around they're gonna start to get loose they're not gonna turn as they have this protection down here as they have this small bolt which do doesn't let them turn but they can move a little bit and then they come unloose this is a small issue if you're using it underwater and it's very very annoying but there is an easy fix there is a glue called Loctite which I can recommend which I can highly recommend you just need a drop or two onto the onto the thread and then you 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 screw it in like now imagine i'm gonna put a, 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 a drop or two of loctite here you screw it in you leave it for a couple of hours and to make sure it really dries out what happens the glue crystallizes and it doesn't let it move anymore what happens if you need it again you can just heat it up with a hot air blower and the, the glue will come loose this is the ideal glue to lose to use here. Obviously there are also other similar glues and I am not making any publicity or I don't have any relations with that company. The same thing is exactly down here which is the most important as they will start to move. There are, are included the double um, ball clamps and the triple ball clamps. I had two of each included in my package and then there are this two longer and these two shorter extensions or ball joint arms as they are called they are, have a very simple design but it's effective and it's they are very light the way you assemble them is very very easy on this ball joint just take the clamp you take it out a bit in order so it fits on you put it on one side you put it on the other and you just screw it on again make sure they're both in and screw it all the way until they are tight. There you go. As I said, there are this forced, uh, these two sizes included in the package. And they are very, very handy depending on what kind of light, what camera you use. You can vary in between them. You could even extend them. And to be honest, with these extensions, with these clamps, you are free for you are free to your imagination regarding on how you want to set them up, on how long, on how to which side you can you are free on your imagination how to do it i can give you an example which you're going to see right now of me diving this tray underwater on a normal dive with my camera on it and there you can see how this works